This is how you draw a Lewis structure for carbon dioxide. First off, you have to start out with valence electrons. So you have carbon, which if you can see is under the 14, which means carbon has four valence electrons. And then oxygen has six because it's under the 16. But then, since you have to times it by two, times it by two, you would get 12 valence electrons and four carbon which if you add them together would equal 16 valence electrons okay now you start drawing the Lewis structure now because of octets because of the periodic table of elements uh, it said you need to always have carbon in the middle then you would have oxygen on either side connected <coughs> by two sets of valence electrons now after that, oxygen needs eight valence electrons, so you'd put, make sure there are eight all the way around. But what's wrong with this is that carbon also needs eight valence electrons, and it doesn't have it, and we have used all of our valence electrons. Oh no, what are we gonna do? So another way to do this... Ah would be to use a double bond. What's a, a double bond? A double bond is when you take two valence electrons from each oxygen and put it between the oxygen and the carbon. You can do that? Yes. So now it would look like this. Now oxygen has two, four, six, eight valence electrons and it follows the octet rule. Carbon has two, four, six, eight valence electrons. It follows the octet rule. And the second oxygen also follows the octet rule because it has two, four, six, eight valence electrons. Awesome. Now, one more way you could draw this would be by instead of having the circles between the oxygen and the carbon, you could also draw it like this. Each line represents two sets, or each re line represents two valence electrons. So once again, oxygen would have two, four, six, eight because there's two lines here. Carbon would have two, four, six, eight because there's four lines around it, and the second oxygen would have two, four, six, eight because of the two lines. Awesome. So now to sum, did you just stop it? Okay. Now to sum it all up, we would. You find the correct number of valence electrons and then add them together. And then you follow the octet rule to start off your Lewis structure. And then you use the correct number of valence electrons to draw the dots around the structure. And then draw it in the correct format. Yeah, and that is how you draw a Lewis structure for CO2. But you also have to follow these rules for any to draw any structure of elements or compounds. Yeah. Nope.